it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and this is my 12th book that I have been reading for the Book a Shelf 2016 reading challenge. I will leave a link down below in the description to explain what the challenge is about but it's to read 26 books over the year with each book coming from a different category and each category is alphabetized so this comes from the category of P, a poetry book. So I have been reading, now please excuse me, this is probably the longest title of a book I've ever read. The Talking Horse and the Sad Girl and the Village Under the Sea by Mark Haddon. So I will read you the blurb and then talk to you about the book. All the gifts so admired in Haddon's prose are strongly in evidence in his first book of poetry. The humanity of his voices, his dark humour and uncanny ventriloquism. But Haddon is also a poet of considerable seriousness, lyric power and surreal invention. Here are bittersweet love songs, comic set pieces, lullabies, lucid and bold new versions of Horace, wry postmodern shenanigans including a note from the official board of censors on 18 certificate poetry, and an entire John Buchan novel condensed to five pages. The talking horse and the sad girl and the village under the sea will enhance Haddon's reputation as one of the sharpest and most consistently surprising imaginations at work in contemporary literature. There isn't really much more I can say. I really like the book. You should recognise Mark Haddon as being the author of The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime and if you haven't read that book, read it. And if you haven't seen the stage performance of it, go and see it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And when I saw this poetry book, I bought this years ago, but I saw the name and I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. And although I studied poetry at high school and university, I find it quite difficult to talk about poetry because you have to really immerse yourself in it and read it and read it and just surround yourself in the beautiful words. And there is a theme throughout this book, and that is the ocean. Nearly every poem mentions the sea or the ocean in one way or another. He puts his words together beautifully. Like I say, I just find it so difficult to talk about poetry because it's such a small piece of writing and it says so much. My two favourite poems in this book are this poem is Certificate 18 and I will say there is a naughty swear or two in this one. Um, so if you're, if you're of a certain age, perhaps you won't read that poem. But it certainly is funny and very clever. And the other one I really liked is Thunderbirds Argo, which is about the Thunderbirds family. And it kind of reminded me of the whole big deal about Thunderbirds. When I was about 10 years old, I don't know, I can't remember, but Blue Peter made a Thunderbird island out of loo rolls and sticky back plastic and all that stuff. And it was such a big deal. And it just kind of took me back to that, that childhood fantasy world. But they are all so clever. It's beautifully written. With poetry, it's about the words and the lyric and the structure and the way it sounds and the way it reads and how pleasing it is to the eyes and the ears. There are more technical bits and pieces that go into writing poetry than there are writing novels. And I think he captures everything so well and like I say I really find it difficult to talk about this but it spans from Odes to Horace who was a Roman lyric poet way back hundreds and hundreds of many many years ago to modern day mixes it all up but still sounds so beautiful I can't say anything other than just how beautiful these little poems are and I even if you're not interested in poetry and you don't understand poetry I'd still recommend you read it because it would just immerse you in some lovely language and some great skill this this man is very skilled and yeah sorry I'm I'm rubbish at talking about poetry even though like I say I probably wrote a hundred million essays on poetry but they are short and sweet and beautiful. So if you'd like to hear any of my other book reviews then please subscribe to my channel. I put new videos out every time I've read a book. I occasionally talk about other bookish bits and pieces, give writing advice, show you all my books and things and whatever else. So if you're interested in any of those things then please subscribe and I will see you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.